we know where we need to go, but we also know where there's a bunch of shiny areas. So let's go over here. Coming through. Oh, I wasn't fast enough yet. Wait, can Captain, uh, I mean, can Professor actually help out too? I was kind of doing the right thing. But. The lineup's not right. I think I need to slide these two things forward or out. Ah, it's whatever. It is okay. We will make the most of it. First one of the stream, so we're gonna be a little rusty. That did not kill them. Wow, that is so shocking. I, I guess we don't have our times up, but still, it hurts. So this is where we use a POW, which will probably kill off the, the weak ones, and then it'll stun the other ones, so we don't take damage. Line the angry ones. Yeah, I, I think I got trouble with those two last time. Oh, he's got a power called Dig This? That was kind of cool. He did damage to both of them. He's better than Bobby Rested Peace, buddy. Nice. Okay. Well, a little bad, but that's okay. That is a okay. Dig here, my friend. Get to work. Whoa, just like that? The boot car? It's like there's a little bit... No, 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 no. Get our speed up. Vroom, baby! That's how we play. Now you go back to the hotel. Yeah, I mean, we're going back, but we got, um... Couple more golden spots to dig up at the very least. Do you think he does anything with the altar? I he might, but I feel like I feel like that's probably story mode stuff, so I don't think we need to go there just now. What is this? A gold hammer? Use this not coins on your enemy's pockets? So that's like a way to make money? How much damage does it do? Broom! Broom! It's pretty satisfying to be honest. You feel like the professor feels anything? Like digging up, doing all this hard work, digging up money, and then Mario just taking it all? You think he's like, uh, yeah, can I have some of that, man? Like, I'm kind of doing the work here. Mario's like, nah, nah. Oh, wait, now that we have the professor, there's actually might be something in the middle here. Like where all this stuff was. Got it. Heart shriveled up by the desert sun can it be restored? So we can get that. If we can get that restored. Wait, wait. Yo, yo, yo. Do you take that back to the tree area? In the first area? And throw it in the pond? Yo, I, I'm on it, right? That that's that's something that makes sense. Okay, cool, cool. Sweet. So that'd be a free level or free HP up. Big brain? I actually can't believe I remembered that. Um, I think it's because the tree thing is like permanently burned in my mind. Sweet, we gotta remember to go do that. We don't necessarily need to do that right now, but uh, that is something we should go do. Gold boots. Okay, I see you making money. There's no fast travel to the pond. Oh no, that's true. It's not that bad though. You go through that little t that little town again. Wait, have we ever been over here? We have not. Uh, 
Uh, cool. Why are there trees with like fate dead skull faces on them? That's kind of terrifying. No! I pressed A to get in and then R ZR to zoom and it didn't work because I, I wasn't in the thing. Actually, I think we can just move these around. Cool equipment that's strong as flashy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now with our lineup, hopefully we do enough damage to actually kill. I need to kill the angry ones. Oh, only a great. Oh, but good enough still. Nice. Okay, I need shiny iron boots, I think. We do need money, though. Uh, as I said, if we want that treasure that's in the um, in the shop, that thing currently costs 16k. It's like 16,800 uh, for that for that thing. Now, with our 20% off, it'll be a little cheaper, but it's still going to be a lot of money. Please don't tell me there's a toad buried in there. Okay, good. Oh, there's the toad bug over there. I see it on that cactus, but... Thanks for that. This is Scorching Sandpaper West, by the way. Proud home to one of the region's four mysterious towers. Ooh. Get up. Owned. I love doing that. Okay, cutscene. Ooh, another one of those lanky guys. Okay, what's going on over here? There's a bunch of toads. Oh, it wasn't a skull, it was another toad. Did you know that we all have skeletons inside our bodies? Scary. I think that bird's a toad too. I need closure. From what? Okay, let's wait for this wait for this bird to come down here. Oh, that's not a toad, it's a fight. What? I I thought it was a toad. Uh looks like two ring lo Ring slides and that's it. Nice. Ooh. Uh, I guess we just shiny iron boots these things. Maybe just shiny boots? Sure, I guess we can just use our shiny boots. Will that kill? Wow. Those boots are useless. Okay. <laughs> Useless freaking boots. All right, let's do the uh, shiny hammer. See if we can kill. Crows are from New Super Mario Brothers DS. Dang man. But look at look how good this guy is. He just killed four enemies off. And New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Oh, that's true. They were in that game, weren't they? How's my, my guy, this guy's so good. I like him as a partner a lot. Okay, honestly I thought that was a toad. Kind of still surprised it's not a toad. Morbid stuff, huh? Free at last! Makes Bobby look kind of weak. I mean, I'm not saying Bobby was weak, but this guy's definitely more useful, Professor. Oh, 
Oh, you just run into him too. That's funny. How could you tell that was me? Ah, I've got to work on my cactus impression. Nice. That's all the toes for the west area. He can still miss. Now, does he miss? Like, let's say there's four enemies there. Does he miss all four, or just potentially one out of the four, or two out of the four, or whatever? Because if, he, if he's like a percent chance. That's not bad. If he misses all of them, that's still not that bad because Bobby, rest in pieces, um, could still only hit one enemy no matter what. Uh, I think that's the west side cleared out. Looks all clear here. He would miss all four. Okay, so kind of the same thing. But the fact that he can hit multiple enemies is uh, much better. I like how they gave us this option to dig wherever we wanted to, but like, I'm not saying it's useless. Oh, come on, man. But like, where, why are you going to dig up random spots? The only thing you're going to dig if it's like kind of suspicious, like that Breath of the Wild Korok puzzle. Night, everyone. Oh, see you, Metal. Thanks for being here, mate. You have a good night. We are going to need shiny iron boots, but that still hasn't been killing. Well, it might kill now, actually. We have them lined up. There we go. My ice hammer's almost dead. Let's uh, use it on these pokies. I want to switch out some of these things. Yep, nice. We got, we got a gold hammer, so I kind of want to use that. Make some money. And the gold jump. I mean, I, I guess I could technically switch out other things too, but it's not that big of a deal, you know? We've got gold boots. We got still have a bunch of shiny iron boots. I Honestly, at this point, I really should just trash my iron boots, huh? I guess so. There's just not really a point. I've got, look, I mean, look at these boots I have. I'm not gonna get through these things. I still have flashy ones. Shiny iron for most enemies, flashy iron if it's really strong, and we got some gold for money. Mario get arrested for flashing? You know, we, we gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, I don't think that's true, actually. I don't think we need to flash things. So, same thing with the hammers. You know, this is actually a new hurl hammer that I bought, but I don't think I'm even going to ever use it. Let's just discard it. We have a lot of stuff, and that's just not something we need. Let's put the gold hammer in there. Once the shiny hammer breaks, let's throw in a flashy hammer instead. We have all these good stuff. We might as well use our best weapons because they're they're they are breaking, but not so fast that I need to you know save them. All right, let's do a small desert east here. We saw this area before, but there's still some things to uh, to fill in and dig out. So let's do it. This is Scorching Sandpaper East, right? I was supposed to be touring some stylish ancient walls around here, but now I can't find them. We'll look for them. Don't you worry, Mr. Toad. Let me run over that guy first before I break that wall. There we go. Okay, we definitely, that was like an actual spot, but there's definitely like a fire we can make here. I, I think. I don't want to fight this boo. Boos are annoying. I want to get speed and then run into them. There we go. Thank you, friend, for coming out. Stop trying to lick me, boo.
Yeah, you, you can switch gear in the middle of battle too, right now. You're right, but I haven't needed to do with that much. Okay, there's snakes. Mario, charmed, I'm sure. I actually have to get all these toads that ran off. I kind of like being a snake, especially around here. Sand, snakes, and ruined temples. Classic! Sorry for hiding like that. I'm just a bit shy. Also, your boots look really scary to a snake. <laughs> yep, there we go. Getting some Breath of the Wild vibes there, <laughs> I suppose. A little exploration going on around here. Own. Yeah! -ha -ha! Oh, it's you. I thought maybe you were the snake catcher. Are snake catchers a thing? Oh, there. Nice. That was all the toads. Let's dig this up. That's actually the thing we needed for the eye. How did we find this in the middle of nowhere? Whoa, you dig up some kind of strange rock. What is it? That's the thing we needed for the toad's eye. Hmm, it's quite old. It might be an ancient treasure or a simple ancient rock. Either way, I advise that you hang on to it. Square jewel. Yeah, that was the one we needed for that one eye um, in that toad tower. You solved the puzzle without the hint? I mean, we've just been digging around. There's a hint for that? Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it pretty soon. There's a hint for that you missed? Yeah, obviously it's not expecting you to randomly find that, I'm sure, but we just got lucky. Yeah, I know I could just walk there, but I was calling my car. Nice, that's all those. Okay, cool. I feel like we accomplished what we need to accomplish in this area. Oh, I almost got into that fight there. Oh, that would have been, would have been bad. Got all the toads. We're out of here. Sweet. So we got east and west in the minor area done. I think we got the big area done over to the east. I think we're all pretty good. It's not worth the coin. Leave it. Wait, can you read this? Welcome to Shroom City. Oh, so he can now read all the things that we couldn't read before. Was there anything else I, I didn't remember reading? I actually don't think we've ever been in here. I like how no one complains about being smashed in the head with a hammer. Yeah, we can finally read this stuff. I'm so used to it saying you can't read this. We did have that one green uh, gem I could have already put in the toad's eye, but it said to come back here, right? So let's go do that. Don't mind me just sniffing the bed. Hey, don't look like you wouldn't be sniffing it if you weren't here first. Wait, are you not a sniff it? That is creepy. You weird freaky thing. Oh, you guys found each other and now you're parading around in your weird hats. Good for you. Thank you. Dig here for a surprise. Maybe it's treasure. All right, do it. Do it again. Treasure? Did someone say treasure? Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, I should have just tried digging even though I couldn't read the sign. I don't give him any treasure. Sorry, buddy. That's life. Ah, uh, there's more ancient writing on this mural. Let's see. When all four toads align their eyes, the shroomy temple shall arise. Yes, yes, the fabled temple of shrooms. It said there was once a colossal structure in this desert built by the ancient ones. However, no trace remains. It is a mystery that keeps me and my fellow archaeologists employed. 
Are those four things surrounding it eyeballs? They're kind of giving me the creeps. Like they're following me. Well, this is certainly a valuable clue. A bit more obscure than I'd like, but important to be sure. I'll follow the translation lay in my notes. You can check them anytime by pressing L. Okay, cool. Above the desert, mushrooms rise. Go spark a flame within their eyes. Something's coming out of the eyes. Doesn't it look like something we've seen before? Or someone we've seen before? Find six devout and gather all. The fire spirit they will call. Whoa, is that some kind of bird? I'm worried it's gonna get fried. Is that where the six of them point inwards? I feel like we already did that. No bird came yet, though. Maybe it wasn't time for it. Maybe now it's spawning. Or maybe this is it. To meet the elemental same, the ritual is like a game. The six devout will back this claim. We need to perform some kind of ritual. Why isn't it spelled out here? What does that arrow mean anyway? Like, go over this way? Sweet, senior thesis. The rest must be on the other side of this door. Ah, uh, pardon me. I'm afraid that room is occupado. If you're looking for the occupant, he's a fellow in green clothing with a mustache, not unlike yours. Oh, and he said he was going to visit some of our local merchant stalls. Best of luck, sir. Well, there we go. It's Luigi. A green guy. Can that be the same green guy we know? Hmm, they told me that the room needed to be fumigated. No matter. Let's take out those green mustache and convince him to let us inside. So, Luigi must be at one of the stalls. We need to get him to come back here and open up the door. Uh, there's been kind of a lot of backtrack in this area. I love the music and I love the theme. Not loving the backtracking. I think it could have been streamlined without having us make us go back and forth across uh, everything. Let's go check out the notes in the rooms now. Shroom City Chronicle Chapter 1, The Birth of King Shroomsis. Life begins in Sandpaper Desert. Here we go, story time. What's on to Chapter 2? Black water and massive coinage. Shroomsis finds water, riches flow. Well, black water, maybe, maybe oil. So we're going to be roommates, eh? Well, I'm a bit of a loud studier. I hope you don't mind. No, not roommates. Just read the thing. Sharing the wealth. Ruling rules. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you already read this. Okay. Those are my notes. I must ask that you wait to read them along with everyone else when they're published in an academic journal. All right, we just need chapter four, and I think our story is over. He rests in the temple of shrooms. All right, well, there we go. So King Shroomsis is in the temple of shrooms that we have to rise from the earth after getting all four of the towers to look at each other. You have anything to say to me? This violates my no concierge work contract, but I'll tell you that our green guest said he was going to visit the merchants in town. Cool. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to call it here. As always, GG and peace out.